Hello Saints and Sinners fans, welcome to another How to Turn on Cheat Mode for Saints and Sinners. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and smash that like button. And if you're new, please subscribe. Every subscriber I get, I shall murder a zombie in the best way I possibly can. Anyway, not only am I going to show you how to turn on Sinner Mode, but I'm also going to give you a nice in-depth guide of what Sinner Mode actually is does my god i'm making far too much noise and causing too much attention to myself right where were we okay cinema mode so cinema mode was introduced when the meat grinder edition came out uh when that update came out the developers put a line of code into the game and allowed us to turn cinema mode on and off at will Now, like I said, Cinema Mode came with the Meat Grinder Edition, which means you need to have this installed on a PC. It can either be through Oculus or it could be through Steam. Where are these coming from? There's like a zombie making factory behind this bloody lorry. So it has to be through Oculus or through Steam, but it has to be installed on your PC. It can't be installed on your PSVR on your PlayStation, and it can't be installed on your Quest headset. You can plug your Quest headset into a PC and play it that way. That way works absolutely fine, but you need the game installed on a PC. Do you mind, I'm trying to talk here. Once you have activated Cinema Mode, just restart your game and then go into the pause menu. You will get this extra menu here called cheats. Go into it and it will give you four options. Now when they're red, it's off. When it's green, it's on. Now I'm gonna talk you through what these do. Right, Demigod. So what Demigod basically turns you into is a god. It means you can't die. You can lose health. Come on, bite my hand. Bite, bite my hand. There we go, you have that one. You bite that hand. That's it. Keep eating. Eat away. Got rum. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, not my nipples. Get off my nipples. Oh, you're both feeding on my nipples. Oh, this is just getting weird now. Extremely weird. I mean, with Demi God on, you can literally sit here or stand here all day long getting your nipples chewed. Do you, do you want to join in on my nipples? I've only got two. So, that's Demi God. You literally can't die. You can lose health. Oh, are you, are you good there? Are you good? But you can't literally die. Great fun. Can I get off? See? I'm now really hurt and really dead. But I'm running around still. Go away. I'm, I'm out of milk. Turbo. Turbo is a lot of fun. Basically, it turns these into weapons. You can poke, slice, punch, chop. Let me show you. Excuse me. I need a volunteer for this. Right. Let's do... Chop! Chop! See? You can literally chop him and now he's completely armless. Or if you're a little bit sick, you can get your finger like this, grab him on the head and you can uh, poke him straight in the brain. Chopping and fingering isn't the only thing you can do. You can also fist them. Just like that. Infinite stamina. Now, infinite stamina basically does what it says on the tin. You get infinite stamina. You can run around all day long. Hi, you can't catch me. And you will not run out of stamina. I mean, that is one of the downsides of Saints and Sinners is the stamina. But now, it's infinite. Run around as much as you like, play with the zombies, and uh, have as much fun as possible. Wah, you can't catch me. I've got infinite stamina on. Last but not least, Rush Bell. Basically means the bells are now going to be here. Um, let's see if we can get some zombies around. Hi, I'm over here. Now remember, you are a demigod, so it doesn't matter, you can't die. Let's just speed it up a little bit and we'll see how many zombies we can get. One, two, three, four, five, six so far. Oh, it comes the crowd. 
Right, count with me. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and I saw one over there. Twenty. I think that's about your limit on zombies. Be nice to get more. But there's two bits of useful information you need to know before I show you to turn it on. Number one. You cannot save the game with Cinema Mode on. Whatever you do with Cinema Mode, as soon as you turn it off, the game will go back to the way it was. So any achievements you unlock with Cinema Mode, anything that you collect with Cinema Mode on will be gone and you have to start it all again. So don't try and complete the whole game with Cinema Mode on. It's not worth it and it's no fun. Just use Cinema Mode for fun stuff. And one other thing. After this, I'll show you how to turn it on. Now, I know I said you're a demigod and you are invincible, but not to explosions. For some reason, explosions kill you. Now for the fun bit. Like I said before, the developers added a line of code for us to change. And I'm going to show you how to find that line of code and also how to change it. There's a few things you need to do first. Open up File Explorer. Go to view and then make sure this hidden item box is checked. Once that's checked, go into this PC, go into your C drive and then go into your users. Click on the username and then go down to app data. Now this is the folder that's normally hidden. You can tell it was hidden because it's like shadowed or slightly graded than the other one. Open it up, go into local scroll all the way down till you see TWD, the Walking Dead folder. Open that up, go into Saved, Config, Windows Note Editor. Now scroll down until you see Game User Settings. Open this up, it should open in a text file. Once in here, go all the way down until you see this line. Be sinner. Now, if you've only just installed this game and you're turning this on before you've even played it, you won't have any information in this folder. Play the game first, then save it. You'll get this information. All you need to do now to turn Cinema Mode on is just delete false and then type true. That's it. It is really that simple. And then just close it down and then save. All right, really, really easy. And then just start your game up and then you're good to go. If you want to turn it off, just go backwards. Go back in the game user settings, scroll down to cinema mode and then just put false. Close it down, save it and then cinema mode is off. Okay people, have fun. Please comment down below what you got up to. I've had so much fun in cinema mode and I know you will too. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.